y'all welcome back to farmhouse on the ranch today i am going to show you how to plant a tomato this is a sale tomato so he doesn't look all the best in the whole world but he's still plantable and might as well give him the best shot that he can get so we're going to throw him in the ground okay so here is my tomato i got it off the clearance rack so it does have some damage some yellowing some problems but it's nothing we can't fix so i am going to be planting this patio tomato in this container um, instead of in the ground or in one of my raised beds. And we're just gonna get started here. So first thing I did was I dug a hole. I amended my soil with a little bit of botan garden soil. You just wanna make sure that your soil is not too compacted, to clay, to um, somehow that the water will drain through. You don't want it to be a really muddy mess all the time. Or the, otherwise, the base of your tomato and your roots will rot. So let's get him out of here. Take a look at him. He's got nice roots. What I'm noticing right away is that he's got some dead branches and some yellowing branches and some low branches. So first thing you do is you can pinch them off or you can use clean clippers. And if you, uh, you can just use rubbing alcohol to clean your clippers if you've been clipping a lot of things, but uh, I don't usually don't worry about too much, but I am going to go through and just clip these off and then make sure they don't end up in your hole or in your soil because you don't want this kind of bacteria problem to damage the rest of your tomato. It's got a couple of little bitty arms here. I'm going to pull those off. This one I'm going to pull off. Nothing too much going on there. He's got some dead leaves here, which I'm going to just kind of pull the leaves off. Maybe I'll pinch him. I might cut him off with a set of leaves there. And this one is starting to get leaf curled, but it's still looking like a fairly good, it still has some green, green leaves. So I'm gonna leave this one. You could cut it off if you wanted to, but I'm gonna leave it. So the basics of your goal is to make sure you have a nice long stem here where there's no little arms, branches, leaves, any of that going on. And that'll give you a better chance not to get any rot or um, any problems with your tomato plant. I'm gonna amend this soil with Espoma plant tone today. Um, you can get Espoma biotone is a good choice, Espoma garden tone, tomato tone, plant tone, uh, any of those work really well. Um, this is the one I have today. Fancy, you're making all kinds of noise. I can't see you. There are instructions on the back for how much to add, but I'm just going to add some. I'm actually going to add quite a lot because I didn't amend the entire bed. I know I, I was hard on this soil last year because I didn't switch out the soil. So This is a slow release fertilizer, so it isn't going to burn the plant. And it'll feed it over an extended period of time. I'm at a really bad angle. to make sure that your tomato plants, especially ones that you're rejuvenating, don't have any air pockets around their roots. So you want to tuck that soil in really well. Now with tomato plants, they like to soak water so I always try to give them a well around the base but not right around the stem because you'll rot out their stem if you let water sit out against their stem. So you want a little cone around them again around the middle and then kind of a water basin to hold the water. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a tomato cage on this one. I have a pretty red one over here. This is not my favorite type of tomato cage to use but it's what I have handy today. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that on there. And there you have it. Planting tomatoes is very simple. 